Hi everybody, it's Tracy. I'm here with my friend Sunny, who's very anxious to say hello to all of you today. It's really cold here in Minnesota. I have my thermal pants on and I'm a little bit chilly, but we're gonna talk about Sunny and his Appaloosa breed. First, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Sunny and how he came to our family. And then I'll tell you a little bit about the Appaloosa breed. So Sunny, his registered Appaloosa name, is Barmar Sonata and his mother we owned her as well her name was Melody her paper name was Bright Dugget Nugget D and we've owned her as well for most of her life well Sunny was born on our place and his mother Melody is a registered Appaloosa she has a leopard coat pattern she was all white with little brown chestnut colored spots and Sonny's father is a registered quarter horse he was kind of a, a bay color yes are you agree and he was a big stocky sire and this is what we received from those two parents he's a red roan color and he has a very curious personality, a tiny bit mischievous, depending on who you ask. He will steal your baseball cap if you let him. He likes to nibble a little bit. And he is the one who's notorious for setting the other horses free. He's able to jiggle the locks and latches just enough so that they open. And sometimes goes on a little, ah, a little bit of a roundup. So you made my point, didn't you? He didn't actually bite, he just kind of nibbled me with his lips. So, now I'm going to tell you a few of the characteristics of the Appaloosa breed. And again, not all of them will have all of these characteristics. Some might have one or two. Um, to be a registered Appaloosa horse, you have to have the correct DNA. We had to have a DNA sample sent in from Sonny's mom. One of the characteristics is a sclera around his eye, which is this white part around his eye. Appaloosas are notorious for having that. And also mottled skin, although you can't really see it on him because of his winter fuzz, but that's basically like freckles on a human. Another characteristic is the striped hoof. And you can see from Sonny's hooves, he has striped hooves. And that's another Appaloosa characteristic. One other is their coat pattern. Comes in all different colors, all different shapes and sizes. Sunny's is the roan pattern. Some will have a blanket on their rump, a white blanket typically, and maybe have some darker colored spots on it. Some could have spots all over, a little bit like your Dalmatian dog. But they're all different and come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. Hi everyone, I'm Tracy's daughter, Aubrey. And I just wanted to share a little bit about my horse, Sonny, and a little bit about his personality. His personality is very sneaky and smart, which, as you can see, he is trying to get to my treat, which I have in my pocket, for a little demonstration that I'm going to be giving you. So, I've taught him a trick where if I stand, see, hold still, and I hold a treat behind my back, and if I put myself here, it'll look like he gives me a hug, which is a super sweet and easy trick that pretty much anyone can teach their horse. Yeah, does it taste good? Yeah. Another trick that I taught him was the bow, which he is already kind of doing. And this is the first step of it, which is I go like this and I wiggle my fingers so it's something interesting for him to look at. And it looks like he is bowing his head. That's another super fun trick that I've taught him. And those are the tricks that I taught him. Bye! Thanks for watching everyone. And Sunny and I and Aubrey say goodbye for today. This is our video about Sunny and the Appaloosa horse breed. See you next time.